Hello, Ali Bon. Hello, Ali. This is Scott. Good to hear from you. Thank you for creating the time to talk to me on Aliseb Scott Entertainment. Oh, absolutely. Like, it is the biggest um, pandemic I've had in my lifetime. So, I want to get as much information out as I possibly can. Mm, thank you. So, you currently live in Canada. So, yes. And to be uh, precise, Edmonton, right? Correct. Yes. So, I just want to ask you about this coronavirus. So just want to know, what is the government doing in order to reduce the spread of this coronavirus? Um, every different province in Canada has put in their own isolation policy. So we have closed all non-essential places like um, the gym is closed, um, church gatherings are restricted. So. The only things um, in place are only essential stores, like grocery stores, those are open, and very essential stores. And that just limits the places people can go out to. Um, so the government also did that to also protect workers. Mm. And secondly, there was a mandatory rule that everyone that traveled from abroad to Canada has to self-isolate for 14 days. Okay. And then there is a second mandatory rule that anyone who has that shows symptoms that haven't traveled out has to self-isolate for 10 days. So now, again, talking about self-isolation, within these 10 days, are you going to get paid as well? People are not losing their jobs as a result of this virus. That is true. A lot of there's a lot of financial hardship on everyone. There's going there's a lot of layoffs right now. And there's a lot of fear about a, de um, a depression starting. Yes. So people not me that have more assets, the banks have done um, mortgage deferrals. That means they cannot, they are allowed not to pay mortgages for an X amount of time. I'm not sure what that X amount of time, it depends by the individual banks. But sadly, people like myself that have rents, we are still paying rent. People in lower income, Households like myself suffer the most. Government has put a place for like a one-time compensation mm -hmm. of under the emergency isolation support. And myself, I went yesterday to the website trying to get compensation because I'm out of job off work for ten days. I went to the website for two hours trying to get access to it. Mm. Um, I was like a 5,400 and something number on the queue and I had to wait for an hour. When I got into the database, the system just kept rebooting and then it kicked me out. And I, so I could not yet register my ID. I tried it the second time, the same problem and I just like, just gave up, but I will go back to it again later today. So there is, system, there is like a compensation structure in place. But the system is being overworked, so overworked, now it's so. kind of malfunctioning. Yes. 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 Okay, let's talk about um, testing. How do you test yourself if you're feeling these symptoms now? So, currently, um, you're only tested. You can't go to the hospital because you put um, doctors and patients at risk of contacting it. Okay. So, you can only be tested after you call the 811 line. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to come to your own residence and test you, mm -hmm. but the criteria is like you have to be one of those that came from abroad, oh, and wow. there's a long waiting time for them to come test you. So people like myself, I just I felt the symptoms. They've gone away now, but I'm still in self isolation. I would not know. I still can't know for sure if I have COVID nineteen or not because I can't test it because I'm being just year within the past number of years so I haven't traveled out so I don't qualify to even get tested. Wow that is not really helpful because the test only open to people that traveled abroad into Canada so what about people that have contacted it from these people that traveled abroad they can't even test themselves? Yes so that's why the government wants us to self isolate to do the right thing self isolate yes how are people staying safe? Uh, I was, the, the stores that are open have sanitary measures in place. So we all wear gloves while walking okay. and gloves. But the mask, there is still a controversy on it that it doesn't help 
I am particularly wear masks to work and I've had customers come to me to tell me it does nothing. COVID-19 is a new thing. It's a new virus. Yes. They are learning that they are learning too. But still there is just too much misinformation and people are waiting for them to say wear it. You must wear it before they take that initiative to wear it. Yeah. And what if it doesn't really work? Like, not everyone has symptoms, right? Yeah. So one of the things about wearing the face mask is that if you don't have the symptoms, you don't know you're sick, wearing it prevents you from giving it for others. So it may not stop someone else from giving it to you, but it stops you from giving it to someone someone. else. And I think that's something. Please stay safe and thank you so much for again creating the time to talk to Alice Scott Entertainment on this coronavirus in Canada. I know that I've learned one or two things of how the government is trying to contain this virus because every day we have new cases in Canada. But again, the way they have new cases, they're also recovering cases. So it's a good thing that the government are trying everything possible to reduce the spread of this virus. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alice. Stop. Nice to hear from you again.